Would you rather A, develop a robot, or B, design the optimal moving paths of robots in a warehouse? Would you rather A, design an x-ray machine, or B, work closely with healthcare professionals to streamline patient services? A, calculate the proper shape of an airfoil, or B, optimize airport layouts and flight scheduling? A, design proper packaging for a product, or B, strategize ways to modify supply chains for maximum profits? If you answered B to any of these questions, industrial and systems engineering is for you. Industrial and systems engineers tackle real-world questions, such as how to manufacture products with high quality and maximum efficiency, how to get products to the customer faster and cheaper, how to get passengers to their destination safely and on time, and how to enhance patient experiences in a hospital by analyzing scheduling, patient flow, and resource allocation. Industrial and systems engineers are systems thinkers meaning their objective is to improve integrated systems of people, equipment, and information, where other fields of engineering focus primarily on one of these objectives. The bottom line, how can we make systems better, cheaper, faster, and safer? Every industry needs industrial and systems engineers. For example, they might find themselves in manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, finance, energy, food, entertainment, and governmental sectors. It is no surprise that industrial engineers have one of the best job outlooks. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the projected employment growth for industrial engineers over the next decade is expected to be four times greater than that of other occupations. Our department is proud to have notable alumni in prominent positions at major corporations and conglomerates across the country. Our alumni have a wide variety of roles across industries, utilizing the ISE skills they learned while in our department. Let's hear from a few of them. Hello, my name is Ben Perlson. I graduated from the College of Engineering with a bachelor's in industrial engineering in 2018 and a master's in 2019. I now work here at the DHL America's Innovation Center where I am an innovation project manager focusing on topics like robotics and automation. The reason I loved my time at the University of Iowa specifically within the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering is because I was able to create lasting and meaningful relationships with the faculty members that help me to think critically and objectively to solve dynamic and creative open-ended problems like the ones I'm often tasked with to solve on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Beth Leslie Blanco. I'm a design engineer at Integrated DNA Technologies. We're a company that manufactures synthetic DNA for use in medical research and diagnostics. I'm responsible for ensuring the equipment we design here in Iowa to manufacture DNA is compliant to local regulations to be sent to our sister sites around the world. I lead groups in risk assessments and review that our documentation meets requirements. I'm also responsible for our daily management process to facilitate resolution of design issues identified during the manufacturing process. All of this allows me to work cross-functionally across the company and around the world. I use my engineering skills to understand technical issues, define problems, propose solutions, and keep projects moving forward. My name is Daniel Rogi. I'm the CEO of Tormach, and we design and manufacture accessible computer-controlled metal cutting equipment, uh, wood cutting equipment, and industrial robots. I do feel that some engineering disciplines are fairly narrow and deep in their focus, and industrial engineering has always struck me to be more of a broad range of studies. For some people, they really want that depth. But if you're somebody who has a broad range of interests, IE is great because it is an area where you can really become a jack of all trades. As somebody running a company, I really need that. I need that skill set, that broad background, whether it's uh, engineering, operations, manufacturing, finance, human relations. I've always thought that IE was particularly beneficial because of the breadth of experience that you get in IE education. Hi, I am TJ Tollickson. I am the CEO and founder of Rooster Sports and Diamond Bikes in Des Moines, Iowa. And I am a 2003 graduate of the University of Iowa with a degree in industrial engineering. Making a process, uh, evaluating that process, and then finding a way to refine and improve that process is the number one thing that I still use on a daily basis. Sometimes it's a manufacturing process, sometimes it's a digital process. So it can be things like reducing the queue time for a customer to check out on our webpage to the final 
A uh, piece of this puzzle is the quality process. So how are we tracking serial numbers on our bikes all the way through from the start of a piece of carbon fiber to the finished product to a customer and then tracking that information to know uh, when we have problems and then using that information to have better manufacturing processes to make better products. Our alumni have taken what they learned from our curriculum and faculty to become successful industry professionals. At the University of Iowa, industrial and systems engineering offers the best of both worlds, an education in both engineering and business. Coursework equips students with practical skills in manufacturing engineering, engineering management, simulation and optimization, human factors and ergonomics, quality control and Six Sigma, as well as data analytics and information systems. We offer specialized focus areas to tailor your degree to your specific interests, whether that be management, design and manufacturing, human factors and ergonomics, or big data analytics. The ISE curriculum is flexible, capable of accommodating the diverse needs of our students. Let's hear from some of our professors about their courses. My name is Sean Song. Uh, I'm a faculty member in Advanced Manufacturing at the Department of Industrial and System Engineering. I'm teaching different levels of courses in design and manufacturing in the department. Currently, I'm teaching an undergraduate level course named uh, Design for Manufacturing. And in this class, students are learning different tools to design and manufacture real products. For example, in the final project, the students are required to design a Lego bricks like this. And then they first use a design software to design the Lego brake, and then they use an advanced manufacturing tool like a CNC machine to create a real metal mold for the Lego brakes like this. And then they use this mold in some mass production level machine, such as injection molding machine, to create a series of Lego brakes and they assemble them together. And finally, they use some industrial engineering techniques such as quality control to inspect the quality of these Lego brakes and they make suggestions for me on how to improve the process to make the quality better. My name is Dan McGeehy. I'm the director of the National Advanced Driving Simulator here in the University of Iowa's College of Engineering, where I teach human factors engineering uh, and mentor a great number of students on vehicle safety, human factors, and crash analytics. Hi, I'm Yong Chen, a professor in the Department of uh, Industrial and Systems Engineering. I teach courses uh, in the area of uh, data and uh, business analytics. One of the courses I taught is uh, digital system simulation, where students build simulation models to imitate operations of real-world systems on a computer. A simulation model is a risk-free virtual environment where you can try out various uh, system design and improvement ideas, much like playing a video game. It is a very useful tool for industrial engineers to make a system better. Hello, my name is Ruben Beltran del Rio. I'm an associate professor of instruction at the ISC department. I've been teaching most of my life and during all these years, one of the things that I have learned is that teaching is about helping the students to make some critical connections. I have found out that the ideal class, the course that really uh, helps to make this connection is the IEC no design. They are going to be presented with a problem from industry. They are going to be working with a sponsor from industry and there's going to be a faculty advisor for them, but uh, our senior students are in their own in solving that problem. And this is a, a real learning experience for them to really anticipate what is it that they are going to be facing in industry. Our faculty members lead world-class research in many areas, offering numerous opportunities for undergraduate students to get involved. Hi, I'm Tom Muckschnell, and I'm a professor in industrial and systems engineering. I'm also the director of the Operator Performance Laboratory, or OPL, which uses fighter jets turbine helicopters, piston aircraft, and unmanned aircraft to study concepts in aviation. Everyone here works as a team, building concepts that we can test in flight. Undergraduate students might be involved in writing software, building electronics, instrumenting aircraft, or going along on flights for data collection. The OPL is a hands-on experience 
unmatched by any other laboratory in the world. My research is focused in additive manufacturing and 3D printing of ceramics and composites. Ceramic is a very fancy material. It has a very good mechanical property under extremely high temperature, for example, 3000 degrees Celsius. But this material is very difficult to make into complicated geometry because it can easily shatter. So what my research is doing is to develop a novel 3D printing technique to print this type of material into complicated geometry. And it has a lot of applications in very harsh environments. For example, it can be used as a next generation aerospace engine material by NASA. Welcome to the Driving Safety Research Institute. Here we do research both on the road with automated driving systems, as well as the National Advanced Driving Simulator behind me. We integrate lots of different kinds of engineering, psychology, computer science, medicine, pharmacy, to do our research here. Many undergraduate researchers also participate in our research from the very beginning, from even building some of our smaller simulators, being involved in building some of our on-road instrumented vehicles. So there are a number of different opportunities for undergraduate students to work here. So we hope to see you soon. Accomplished faculty are just one part of the ISC community at Iowa. The most important, our students. Hello, my name is Oleg Gralchuk. I am a senior industrial and systems engineering student. My favorite part about being an ISC student is definitely the community that we have as a major. Being one of the smaller, smaller majors here at the College of Engineering, you start going through your classes with the same group of people and collaborating with them on different projects, presentations, and you just grow with each other throughout your four years. So as the president of IISC, one of my goals and our whole exec board's goals are to provide that sort of mentorship and guidance that makes it easier for a first year, second year student to structure the path that they want to take in ISC. My name is Gianna Caruso. I am a industrial and systems engineer um, with a focus in human factors and ergonomics. A couple things I enjoyed about being an ISC student at the University of Iowa would be how close you get to be with your faculty. It's easy to feel comfortable in class and ask questions and kind of form a really collaborative environment, go to office hours, which is kind of a stark contrast from classes like principles of chemistry where it might be intimidating to go to an office hour when you have 500 classmates. I think if you're looking for a degree that's well-rounded with the problem-solving skills and the rigor of being an engineer while being able to explore other interests in your life. I think industrial engineering is a really great fit. You learn a lot of life skills, even working with your friends, working with your roommates, talking with your family. I think being an industrial engineer, learning problem solving skills and management skills and kind of like being able to conceptualize a system is really widely applicable to the rest of your life. And I really enjoyed my time at Iowa learning about those things. If you enjoy thinking of better ways to do things, working with people and data, system level analysis, a customizable curriculum, and a career with flexibility, consider the industrial and systems engineering major. For more information, visit us online.